this weekend is going to be absolutely insane, chock full of things to do. Today is Friday. We are headed to work and after work, we are going to have to be speed demons and get to the antique booth on time because we need to see what's sold, tidy it up a little bit, and check our inventory at home so Saturday we can restock the booth. And we are in the process of working on the cabinet downstairs in the laundry room. I'm so excited. And I'm going to take you along for the ride. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Such a wonderful, exciting, long day. We are in the stairwell. I try to do stairs so I can keep in shape, but we are headed to the booth just to see, you know, to see what has what has sold, what we need to clean up, zhuzh it around a little bit, and then that will help me or direct me to what I need to pull from stock or inventory so I can stock the booth. So depending on traffic, now, traffic this morning was horrific, so hopefully traffic going home is not equally horrific. We'll see. If it's too too much traffic, we're not going to get there tonight. We won't, we won't be able to get there in time because they close, and it's uh, about 5 o'clock right now. So don't want to sit in traffic for an hour, only have... 10 minutes or so. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear and we'll see what the traffic's like and hopefully we can get there and see what we need to restock. See you in a sec. I, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make it in time before they close. We will try. We are trying our hardest to get to the antique booth before they close, but I am currently sitting in traffic. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see.
I have more napkins that I need to bring in. So I will fill all this up with some napkin goodies. The doilies are not selling as, as good as I would like. I only have been marked for $2, so I think that's still a good price. I don't think we need any more of the plate wear. don't think we need any more in here. I don't think we need any more in here. I think that's fine. We'll see what's in our stock. But I think this looks good for now. So in the second booth, I'm having a vision crisis. Just don't know what to do in here. Um, but right now, it needs to be tidied up a bit. So I'm gonna put you down and start tidying this place up. up as much as I can just a little bit I think we need to go home and brainstorm about this booth today we are going to tackle the long-awaited cabinets in the laundry room let's get started I have been putting off this project for way too long. I have been paralyzed with fear. and <laughs> I did not know what I wanted to do for the doors on the cabinet. And I wrestled around with myself and I have came to the conclusion that I like streamlined things. I like the doors that are, are streamlined. I don't like a really ornate profile on the door. So we went with just some slab doors. And I wrestled around with it because I thought that it would look cheap or it would look a little bit um, budget friendly, which of course it is. Um, but I wanted it to be a little bit more elevated. I wanted it to be a little bit more elegant. Um, yes, I know it's just a laundry room, but I wanted my space to be pretty <laughs> and I want to fill my home with things that I love and the more I looked at cabinet doors the more I realized I love the streamlined look of a flat panel door so that's what we're going to do we cut doors from a plywood sheet and we are now here at this stage then the second stopping point was how do I hang these? I've only put together furniture many, many, many times. I've redone furniture over and over and over again. I've never really made it from scratch. So each and every little step, I have to stop and I have to investigate it and I've got to kind of figure out what I'm doing. And I went to the store and I got some soft clothes hinges. And you can see I already put some on here and you can go with regular 
hinges or you can do soft close hinges and I really love the soft close hinges because it just kind of closes your door sometimes um, the doors with regular hinges they can pop open um, if they don't close all the way the soft close they will for sure close so I went ahead and picked up a package of soft clothes. Hold on. I picked up these and these are for framed cabinets, which we did. We did a put, uh, we did put face frame on this cabinet. And so I needed uh, these ones here that have um, allowances for the frame. And then I, again, I wanted to make sure that I was doing this right, so I went to the hardware store and I looked at their cabinets there. Most of their cabinets that are on display have the soft close hinges on it. And then I measured, <laughs> I was that crazy person that took a measuring tape to the display and I'm sitting there opening it up and I'm looking at the doors and the drawers and I'm measuring things. That's me, I'm the crazy person. If you ever saw that person in the hardware store in the display and they're like really investigating that, it's, it's probably me. So come and say hi, please. <laughs> but I really wanted to make sure that I did this project right because material is expensive. And I, yes, if I mess up, yes, I would probably eat crow and go back to the hardware store and buy some more wood and redo it. And that's okay. Um, Practice makes perfect. Um, I'm okay with that. But I didn't want it to make so many mistakes that it wouldn't be cost effective anymore. And then I should have just bought regular cabinets and retrofitted them. So that is where I'm at. I kind of go from, you know, one part of the project and I have to stop and I have to investigate and learn what I'm doing and move on. And I have been practicing over the holidays. So I had took a couple of weeks off during Christmas, you know, the holiday after Vlogmas, the Christmas holiday, and I taught myself how to install the closed, soft closed hinges, and that is what we're going to do. Um, I do not want to start on the kitchen makeover until I am done with this project. I don't want to move on to the next project and have all these open up projects. I want to complete a project and I want to move on. So. I want to start the kitchen so bad, but I won't allow myself to start it until I am done with this. So now we have to finish this because I put that stipulation on to myself. Nobody else is telling me to do that except for me. <laughs> I want to get this done with so we can get the laundry room in order because that's kind of a mess too. And I want to kind of decorate it and make it pretty. <laughs> so let's get into today's project, which is putting these hinges on the store and getting these doors installed once and for all. All right, guys, let's talk tools. First and foremost, I love my DeWalt drill. I love it. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. It is a cordless and interchangeable batteries. I have a lot of DeWalt tools that I just interchange my batteries. And that's why it's the interchangeable. Do you have to have a DeWalt? No, you don't. Um, get any of the brushless motor tools that have interchangeable batteries and, and whatever is in your budget and get those. My husband has a bunch of DeWalt tools and now I do and we just kind of interchange our batteries and our, our tools. And that works for us but do what works for you please and do what works for your budget but first you're going to need a cordless drill or a drill um, you are going to want to make your life easy you can put these on without this um installation hinge installation template but you're going to hate life uh, make your life easy go out and buy this I got this brand here, the Everbuilt, because that is the brand of the hinges, and they were right together. And this is has saved me so much time to kind of me from measuring and picking up because it comes with the bit and it comes with the template. Here's the template, 
And here's the bit here. There are other uh, bits out there that you can get. This Diablo one here is an alternative. And truth be told, I got this one first. And then I saw Exo McKenna get this one here. And it may, I didn't even know that they sold um, a template with a drill bit. And I'm glad I watched that because then I saw this drill bit in this template and I had an epiphany moment <laughs> or probably a swift kick in the hiney and I ran up and I grabbed this um, template here. But you're definitely going to want to get this. If you're going to do more than one, <laughs> get this because it's going to save you much time. All right, let's get started. First, you're going to grab your template. Then you are going to grab your handy dandy measuring tape. You all know I use my measuring tape. It works the best for me. You're going to measure down. I'm doing five inches. You can do anywhere from three to five, but I like five because it's gonna give me some wiggle room for to move the door up and down so they can all be equal. You're gonna take your measuring tape and you're gonna measure down five inches. You're gonna mark five inches down and then you're gonna take your template and this line here is your center line. You're going to put this line here you're going to put it on your five inches and from there you're going to mark right here these indentions on this center dot right here you will put the middle part of this drill bit this pointy part right here to that middle one and then drill Here are your hinges that you will get in the package. Perfect. All right, guys, I have four doors, eight more holes to drill, and I'm going to get working on that. And I'll see you back here in one second. All right, so this is where we're at right now. And I have to fix this hinge here because this screw here that lets you adjust the hinges to go forward and back 
it's stripped. So luckily I have one more left out of that package. Perfect, if you ask me. So I am replacing, we will do this later, but I will be replacing that hinge with this hinge. And then we are going to get this stood up and I can adjust the hinges to adjust this space here, this center space. And it all has to do with this. And I will show you how to do that here in a little bit because I could not find any information about this on the World Wide Web. If it's out there, it's well hidden. But Joe showed me how to do this. So I will share this with you. It's going to allow me to get a nice little center opening so we can open and close the cabinets. But before we do that, we will have to change the hinge and then set it upright. See how they hang, not on their backside, but upright, and then we can adjust from there. But this is going to be a tomorrow problem because today we have tons of stuff to do. So I'm gonna spin you around and we're going to have a little chat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at Goodwill here in St. Charles. Sticker shocked. Oh my goodness. The money, the the prices 